You don't want to rub your face too like. So I completely forgot to record me actually putting this on. Okay, so I just took off the mask and as you can see, it's pretty glowy. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Alexandra and welcome or welcome back to my channel. The long-awaited skincare routine is here. Dare I say minimalist skincare routine? Because I don't have as many steps as like some skincare routine videos I see. I don't do very much to my face. I have acne prone skin. So any of my girls who also get acne, you know that sometimes when we use too many products like our faces break out even more and it just feels like the acne gets worse so I don't use that much but I do have a ritual that I do every morning and night and I do have some things that I do weekly um, but very minimalistic like very like nothing extreme just disclaimer I don't really get facials either I got a facial like two three months ago and honestly I feel like it made me break out even more like it didn't do what it was supposed to do um, facials are usually supposed to you know be a little red the first day and like maybe the first two three days but like after a while your skin's supposed to look better and I felt like it just broke out even more when I did a facial so I just like I'm not doing that as of right now maybe I'll try a hydro facial but as of right now I'm not doing that this is my unsponsored skincare routine none of these products are sponsored this is how you guys know I'm being honest and real with you guys no one's paying me to say this so I'm going to show you all the products and what I do morning and night to achieve my skincare routine and hope you guys enjoy the video all right, so let's get started. So always gotta put a little headband on first. I have like a million of these, but for some reason I always use the bow one. I just can't stand when my hair gets super wet from doing skincare, so. We're gonna start off like this. This is just my morning routine. I specifically did not do my morning routine just to show you guys this. And then I'm just gonna run you through quickly my nightly routine, cause it's not that much different. Um, but there's just some products that like I don't use at night that I use in the morning. So let me wet my face so that we could start washing it. Wet your face with cold water. I just don't have like a place to put you guys to like show you how I wet my face. <laughs> so face is wet. Now I'm gonna use my La Roche Posay. I hope I'm saying that right. I love them so much. They're really one of my favorite skincare brands. The purifying foaming cleanser. I noticed that foaming cleansers work best for me. I don't use that much, but you want to rub it together and wet your hands a little bit and make sure your hands are wet and rub it together so that it forms some kind of white cast. Like you want it to feel a little foamy so that you can go in like this and you see it's like white because this comes out clear. And if you just put it straight from the bottle to your face, I feel like it doesn't give the same effect. This like activates the cleanser a little more and I feel like it just cleans better. I just go in pretty gently. Like you don't want to go super rough when you're washing your face. The same way you don't want to brush your hair so hard. You don't want to like rub your face too much. You don't want to rub your face too like this because I feel like that just like enhances the wrinkles. So it should really look like some kind of like mask really. And then I just rub my eyes as well. And now we're going to rinse this off. Now this is the important part. <laughs> I rinse it off. You want to get your towel and pat dry like this. You don't want to rub your face into the towel. Absolutely not. Do not do that. Pat dry. And there you go. So on days where I feel like my skin needs a little bit more cleaning, I do double cleanse. But since it's the morning, I don't really double cleanse in the morning. That's usually only when I wear makeup. Now I go in my eye cream. I use the Ula Hendrix Banana Bright Eye Cream. I just recently started using this. It's like fairly new. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's pretty new. As you can see, I barely used it. And you only need a little bit with this stuff. I put this on morning and night because it's just like a vitamin C cream. So you could just use it in whatever time of day really. And kind of just try to pat it to be honest. I don't want to go too harsh. And again, when you're applying your creams, guys, don't go too harsh. Like literally don't do that. This year I'm really trying to like take care of my skin as much as possible just because I'm trying to enhance like my natural beauty, kind of what I already have. Um, because I love my glam, I love my makeup, but I really just want to get into the habit of taking care of what I already have because I noticed that I've been relying a little bit too much on makeup and like the extra stuff and I don't want to go down that path because it just leads to you thinking that you're not good enough without it. And I talked about this on my TikTok that I was having some like struggles this week about that. I kept having feelings of like not being good enough unless I was caked on with makeup 
or unless I was just completely glammed up. And even when I was glammed up, I was starting to not feel pretty still. So that's when I noticed it's not really a glam issue, it's a meat issue. Because even with the glam, I was starting to feel ugly. So I'm really just trying to take care of my skin as much as possible, taking care of my skin, care of my hair, growing out my natural lashes. I really just want to like who I am without all of it. Because if I one day have to like wake up and not wear makeup, I don't want to feel insecure the entire day. So... We're working on these things in 2024. But next I'm gonna go in with another La Roche-Posay product. This is the De Devil Repair Face Moisturizer. Honestly, one of my favorites. It's not too oily, it's not too like heavy. It's the perfect like daily moisturizer. And I tend to mix a little bit of my sunscreen in with it. I've talked about this sunscreen before, but I like to just mix the two. I'm going to put like that much. And then I'm gonna get some of my sunscreen, kind of mix that. This is like the best sunscreen of all time, guys. Like it's the one that like doesn't feel like sunscreen. It feels like lotion. And I cannot recommend this one more. Like honestly, it's my favorite sunscreen ever. And we just apply it everywhere. Don't forget your neck, ladies. Please don't forget your neck because that is a part of the skincare routine. Yeah, guys, I cannot recommend this sunscreen more. Like. I've talked about it in my previous videos. It literally, like, doesn't feel like sunscreen. You see how my face is not even turning white when I put it on? Like, it doesn't turn white. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't even have, like, the sunscreen smell. Like, it's... I don't know what magic they put in this, but... And I never get burned with this, like, ever. I put this on, like, once or twice when I'm at the beach and never get burned. So that's, that's all for creams and stuff that I put in the morning. I don't put too much in the morning just because... I feel like nighttime routine is where I put a little bit more. But the last thing I do put on in the morning is my lash serum. I know a lot of people have been like thinking these lash serums are really controversial. Um, and they probably are, but I personally have loved Grande Lash. Like I feel like it really does help my lashes grow. And I've noticed a difference with using it. So I'm going to keep using it. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm trying to grow up my natural lashes. And I feel like this is a good way to do it. So I just put like one little line on each one. And I put it on the lash side, guys. I don't put it on my eyeball. Like, I think that's where a lot of people go wrong, too. They put it all over their eye. You're only supposed to put a little bit on your lash line. Like that. Then I just get some, like, Vaseline. And, and honestly, that is all I do in the morning to kind of just get a little bit of glow to my face. And then I put my makeup on top. And usually it just... This is a skincare that does it for me. Like, I don't use that much. Like, it's a very minimalist skincare routine. I don't overdo it with the creams. I also have acne prone skin guys so I feel like when I use too many products it just irritates my skin and I break out even more. So if you're one of those people that like have acne prone skin and you break out very easily, try not to use so many products. Sometimes I notice that less is more when it comes to us girls with acne. The more we use the more our skin just gets irritated. Sometimes it's okay to just use a gentle cleanser and a moisturizer and sunscreen. Like you don't really need to go ham on these crazy serums if your skin is really really just like irritated i notice that if you put too much stuff on it it does not do well so that's all i do in the morning and then i'm gonna run you guys through my nighttime routine once i get my makeup on okay makeup is done now i'm gonna go through my night routine which is not that much different but planes the planes are always flying over my house Okay, anyways, so the makeup is done and now I'm gonna go through my nighttime routine with you guys It's not that much different from my morning routine But there's just some products that I might use at night that I do not use in the morning So just gonna go over that But yeah, this is what the skin looks like after doing the skincare routine It kind of I have some breakouts going on and just some like scarring that I'm trying to get in control But other than that feels pretty smooth feels pretty good So at night I use the same cleanser that I was using before it's just the foaming cleanser by La Roche Posay. But at night, usually I'm washing off makeup and I'm also washing my face, of course. When I take off my makeup, I usually use a Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm and I kind of rub that all over my face to get the balm all kind of oily on my face. And then I just get a makeup wipe and wipe it off with the balm on it because what this does is it kind of like melts the makeup off so that you're not just putting a wipe on your face and being like really abrasive with it. I use this. And I kind of, but you could use any really cleansing balm or oil of some sort. Um, just use something before you use a makeup wipe, guys. Please, for the love of all things good. Please use something to like melt your makeup off first, whether that's a cold cream, a balm, some kind of product, and then use your makeup wipe on top. So once I do that and I kind of wipe off my makeup, I double cleanse because usually makeup doesn't come off on the first cleanse. So always double cleanse. I use this and then not every night but on nights where I feel like I need a little bit more 
cleansing. I use my little silicone rubber scrub thing. And what I do is I do the same thing I did in the morning. Like I put this, the cleanser here, I rub it, whatever. But then I put a little bit of cleanser on this thing and I wet it and I kind of rub it in to get it foamy and I lightly brush it over my face to kind of scrub it. But when it comes to scrubbers, guys, you do not use these abrasively. You don't scrub like this. Do not do that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please don't do that, please don't do that. Like I want to emphasize that because these are just meant to like help you assist in, in getting more of the makeup off or getting just a little bit more clean. They're not meant to like scrub super hard. So just use this very lightly and just kind of go into the crevices where you feel like the makeup is still there or where you feel like you need to clean a little bit more. But be very careful with this, do not go crazy. And, and I feel like this just makes my face feel smoother, feel cleaner, so I use this at night. Usually in the shower, but just when I wash my face at night. And next, on days where I feel a little bit more dry, especially in the winter, the skin is just not doing its thing in the winter. So I like to use a very light facial oil. This is only on days where my skin's a little bit more dry. I use the Collagen Superfusion Facial Oil by Charlotte Tilbury. And I do like one drop here, one drop here, one drop here, and I kind of just spread it on my face very lightly. You always put the oil first before moisturizer. So oil first, then moisturizer. You don't want to use this after because then the oil is just going to sit on your face and it's not going to absorb into your skin if you put your moisturizer first. So oil first, then moisturizer. But I haven't been using this much lately because I got a heavier cream for the night. So I use the Murad Cellular Hydration Repair Cream now. So this is a pretty heavy cream, so I don't really need to use oil as often. I feel like this does what it's supposed to do. This does a lot of the hydrating for me. So I've been using this only at night because it is a little heavier. And then same as morning, I use my eye cream. This is just morning and night. I use this in both routines. So these two combined at night and that's really all I use at night guys. And now I'm going to just show you guys the masks that I use and kind of go through the little nighttime routine in this clip. So I completely forgot to record me actually putting this on. So this is kind of a look into one of my masks. So this is the Pure Clay Mask by L'Oreal. I use this like once a week, once every two weeks. It's really just like an extra mask to kind of like pull out the impurities. I can't really talk that much, but as soon as it dries is when you take it out. I kind of just apply it to my T-zone, kind of like in this area. I don't really apply it to the sides. I just kind of keep it in the more focused area. And then at night, two to three times a week, I use the Murad Repair Mask. And this is like a clear mask, so it goes on overnight. You wear it overnight, and then you wash it off in the morning, and it just makes you more glowy. And I think it has something to do with like cellular repair. It just like hydrates your face better. So I use this along with my moisturizer. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the up close and personal with this mask. It's like currently drying. <laughs> okay, so I just took off the mask. And as you can see, it's pretty glowy. It always happens with that mask. And I'm going to use the Murad Repair Cream. And I'm just gonna use a little pump because you don't need too much with this one. And this cream also is so like hydrating, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And of course, you guys already know I love my eye creams. I this is what it looks like at night. So I have some breakouts going on, but like pretty glowy, pretty just like it just gives you a nice clean base. Like I don't know how to describe it. And then we just sleep with the sun. Hi guys, this is me editing. The one thing I left out that I forgot was in my nighttime routine. For these marks that I have right here, I use the Ordinary Niacinamide on just the spots that I have. Niacinamide is known for like reducing blemishes and acne scarring, so I use that. And I'm also in the process of getting some Trentinoin from my dermatologist. So if you guys do have marks like these, I would recommend that, the Niacinamide, Trentinoin, or ask your dermatologist for like the next best thing. But those two have been proven to get rid of these. So that's the one thing I forgot to say. So yeah, guys, that's really all I do as far as skincare. I don't do too much. I mean, this might look like a lot for some people, but trust me, I've seen skincare routines that are like 15 steps and I personally can't do it. I want to get more into the gua sha routines because I do want to just like get more into face sculpting. Just haven't gone down that road yet. There are little skincare things that I do want to get into this year. Um, but so far, this is what I've been using and I feel like it's been working for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. I will link some of the products below, but I also do have a lot of the stuff on my Amazon storefront, which is also linked in the description. So I'll make sure to have those products in there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video. Please like the video. I feel like I've always, I always forget to tell people to like the video. I'm always like subscribe, but it's like, 
give me a like on the video too why not <laughs> don't forget to follow my socials i post so much stuff on there i feel like my instagram and tiktok are the places where i'm there daily youtube i love you but i'm only with you guys weekly like i only post on sundays so you guys don't see me every day but on here you guys would see me every day so on these platforms is where i post the most daily so be sure to follow those and check those out and thank you guys again so much for watching i'll see you guys in next week's video bye